Hello viewers, 4DIYers here with another tutorial video for everyone. In this particular video here, I'll be doing a demonstration of how to replace the cabin filter on a Volvo C30. The same procedure also applies to the S70, V50, and C70 models as well. This definitely isn't a user-friendly replacement. The space is incredibly tight and hard to access. Probably the most awkward cabin filter replacement I have ever done thus far. I have found it's best to move the seat back as far as possible then pull out and push up the telescopic steering as far as possible. If you are working with a right hand drive car, this will be much easier. To make it a slightly cleaner workspace, I remove the floor mat. You can also vacuum the area if you wish. I laid down a shop coat as well. Gaining access under the dashboard, it's best to remove the gas pedal. This is held on with three 10 millimeter nuts and can be accessed using a 3H drive ratchet and a 3 inch extension and a shallow socket. Take your time and be careful so you don't lose any nuts under the carpet. For a better view I am also using my OEM Tools LED work light from Mobile Distributor Supply which provides excellent illumination for those dark hard to reach areas. Be sure to check it out, a link will be included in the description below. To disconnect the electrical connector which is on the right side of the pedal, push in the tang and pull up the connector. Now you can lift out the gas pedal. Once removed, here it is and you're able to see the fastener locations. Now pull the carpet back and there will be three 7mm bolts which need to be removed on the duct cap. Two are easier to see and one is above towards the top of the cover. After those bolts have been removed, you can now pop up the cover. And now here's the cabin filter. Simply grab onto it and pull it straight out. This is a little tougher to see as I'm using one hand to hold the camera and the other to direct the filter out. Considering this is the old filter, it doesn't really matter if it does get damaged in the removal process. As you can see during the removal process, there is quite a bit of debris falling out of the filter, so it's most likely plugged. A dirty or plugged cabin filter can cause poor heating or AC performance. It will reduce airflow cause foul odors, and can put excessive strain on your HVAC fan. Using a vacuum, clean up any of the debris in the duct. This should be done so it doesn't plug up the new filter, or debris doesn't wander into other parts of the HVAC system. Try to use a thinner nozzle to gain access inside the filter's location too. I did find there was quite a bit of tree debris in mine. Be careful not to damage the heater core in the process. Compare the old and new filter to ensure they are the same. Despite the debris falling out of the old filter, it was still quite plugged. The cabin filter does have a specific orientation for flow. Typically, it does have a flow arrow demonstrating which way the air moves. So, that arrow should be pointing towards the rear of the vehicle. Install the new filter. This can be quite tricky considering the new filter cannot be damaged so you'll need to watch out for the threaded studs that hold to the gas pedal's mount. Just a demonstration with the old filter, the top and bottom edge is quite stiff and does not compress easily. With the flow arrow in the correct orientation on the bottom, the filter will also need to be twisted, which helps you maneuver it around the components under the dashboard. I found it's easiest to compress it such as I'm showing here. Clip the duct cap back into place, the edge facing the rear, of the car tucks inside the duct. Reinstall the fasteners for the duct cap. Reinstall the gas pedal and tighten up the nuts. Clip on the electrical connector for the gas pedal. Partway through I did find it was easier to remove the clip that holds the carpet in place. Once removed it does put less strain on the carpet. It does take quite a bit of force to remove it unfortunately. For installation it just pushes back into place. You may need to vacuum up any leftover debris on the carpet once you're done. New videos are released every week on my channel. Be sure to hit that thumbs up button. It's a huge help to me. And leave a comment below letting me know what you think of my tutorial. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And thank you for watching. 